Hello fellow cakers and welcome back to another Stacy Cakes tutorial. Today we're going to be making beautiful cupcake bouquets. Now I won't narrate everything that's going on in the video because it's all pretty self-explanatory. Um, the uh, tip sizes, I did put pictures up that I found that are similar, but don't be uh, constrained by the tip number. Feel free to make your flowers as large or as small as you wish and uh, give your bouquet a really unique effect and make it all your own. I'm sorry that I was away so long. I had carpal tunnel surgery, so um, it's taken me a while to recover from that, but now I'm back and making cakes again. So this flower is a little hydrangea. They look really pretty in the bouquet when they're done. And now these are the Russian piping tips. Um, a bit tricky to use at first, so definitely spend a lot of time practicing with them. So piped roses. All I can say is don't get too discouraged if your roses don't look like this when you first pipe them. Roses, they're, they're really easy once you get the hang of them. So just practice, practice, practice. When I first started piping roses, they were flat and boring. And then, you know, I just learned how to add some dimension to them. And now my hand does it without even thinking. So just practice and you will make beautiful roses with time. I make these little flowers on parchment paper so that I can freeze them and then easily transfer them to the cupcake. It's much easier than trying to pipe right onto the cupcake itself. And these tiny little flowers are easy and a really nice filler. I love these uh, leaf piping tips, but feel free to use whichever one you're comfortable with. Again, it's your bouquet. And actually, the more variety you have in your bouquet, the better it looks. So, do your thing. Now, this is my favorite part. It really finishes off the bouquets. Um, a lot of people don't put these tiny little green dots with white dots on top. It makes it look like baby's breath, so I really like the way it looks. It gives the bouquet a nice, full feel and uh, gives it a more authentic look. Really important, make sure to freeze your cupcakes, otherwise you're going to get icing all over your packaging. When I package my cupcakes, I like to start with some uh, acetate, two darker colored tissue paper, one light colored tissue paper, and then the board, and then another light colored tissue paper. Um, that way, if there's any gaps in between your cupcakes, you don't see the silver board. And then arrange as you like. Now when I'm packaging, what I do is I pinch and turn. Pinch and then fold. And I do that about five times just to trap all that tissue paper, fold it in there and it gives it a beautiful bouquet look. I know a lot of uh, other bakeries, they like to use cups to put their bouquets in, um, so it has a curved look to it. I personally think it looks pretty just like this. Now 
and that's the finished product. Easy to box up, and off to a happy customer. I decided to put in the 12 piece just to show how I arrange them. I like the cupcakes to be in 12 or 7. So I put three in the center and then three along each side. And it gives it a beautiful look. And there's our 12 piece. And here's some other varieties of cupcake bouquets that I've done. And you can mix it up and do whatever you like. So now we're to troubleshooting. These Russian piping tips, if you notice that it's all coming together, your icing is probably too warm and I would stick it in the fridge they take a little bit of getting used to. And depending on how hot your kitchen is, when I did this tutorial, our kitchen was very hot. Um, be careful that your flowers don't melt. Temperature is very important in making cupcake bouquets. Well, that's all I've got. Um, happy cupcaking, everybody. And uh, if you have any questions, please do leave them below. I always answer the questions. Please like and subscribe, it really helps out. If there's anything you want to learn or see a tutorial for, please let me know below. And uh, thank you so much for watching.